Hello. So previously we 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 have done something with the bootstrap full form. So it just this one's just the the framework, and then we what what we have to do is we have to order the form to our need. So by the way, if you are if you open your finished project and then change your get to zero seven, and then you are good to go and then move it to another another screen like me so just open the and then and then go to your your development one and then open the open the edit see data page and then we have to do we have to change something so the first thing we have to do is we have to change the name so so we have to we have to change this to and then that to. So we, we don't want we don't want password or something like that. We just want the so you go you open the add or edit this page on your finished project and then just copy and paste because we we are there's nothing to be line one to eight and line one to nine and copy in a tray and that in normally delete and then paste control v so just indentation and then same for the the next one line one three six and one three seven just copy and paste and then replace line one twenty and twenty one you can type i think you can see the And if you go to the back and then we need to create this too. So say total and say meant and say total. So we have to create it. So we will be doing at the top. So we'll be doing in line in line PHP code. So just go to the top and you open PHP. Make sure you close it. Sorry. And save. So so the first thing you need is uh we we create a uh, we copy and paste line two to four in the you can type if you want. Because the reason is I'm speeding up. Don't want to take that one too long. So so if you go back here, so if you go back here, we created that one and then we have nothing, it's a new. So that should change. That should be stayed there. So if you refresh, so that these are changing and then these are requirements, so we cannot we cannot stay do anything. And then we'll be lazy, we'll be we'll be using the we will be recycling everything. So the first thing we have to do is we have to change that one our uh, submit button. Submit. Yep, 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 yep. So So go back to your diploma uh, one, and then we'll be changing this guy. So just copy lines one six zero, one one six three, and then just delete. Enter and paste. Oh, by the way, you 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 need to create a new line for this guy. This guy is not related to target tag. So now, now look at this name. So we'll be we'll be recycling this name. So whenever you submit the form, and then we'll be we will know this we'll know that by looking at the 
main parameter and then we'll be deciding which action should we be doing like let's say we are adding the stock data we'll be adding the we'll be editing or we'll be deleting so so we'll be we'll be recycling the same the same the same form at the end there and then we're doing all sort of operating in this form so so the first thing we need is we need to create the you go to the top we need to create something so that's this that's this it's means so we we want to create we want to spread between the so go back to your 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 wordpress back and and then go to the click on this guy or this guy whatever so you have an added detail right so detail when you click on detail and then you should you should come to this page so currently look at look at that guy look at that guy when you click on detail that may will be passing id this id and then we'll load the detail and then and then that should be this one should change to edit and then we we will load data from database and display it on here so that what share we'll be doing so we'll be doing we'll be doing that one now so so go to your project and 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 so you give a name and then get id and then we we're passing so when you pass where well, you pass it by http get method so we pass it by the url and we pass id make sure you are you type in the case sensitive and then get action so we we're trying to get it what kind of action do we want So I explain to you. So go back to your WordPress backend. So look at click on that guy again. So when you click on this guy, look at the look at the top. Look at the top here. So that means that's it. This guy is saying action is the edit. And we are we are looking for the ID number one. So we so that that should be changed to details so or add it or whatever so yep we'll be changing to edit and 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 so so go back to your project so go back to your project and in here we create you create the inline PHP tag and uh, we need to use we need to use this one so what shall we be checking is so we'll be checking if statement so not not empty is me we don't want to get we don't want to get an empty ID get ID remember get ID we got it from got it from URL and make sure you are outside of the bracket and and we create it opening and closing bracket again okay action we're trying to match with dt i mean sorry edit so that mean and so what happened if s so let's say let's say that was share with you too. So you cut that one and then paste that one. So we if we didn't pass if we pass something here, that guy should be changing to related to this guy. Otherwise, otherwise we didn't pass anything, we we click on here. 
So look at that guy, we don't have any more IDs, so these are empty, and then that should be add new. That's what we are doing here. Currently, it's a flaw. I mean, you might, you, if you save it, it might not be working. I didn't save it. So, so copy this guy and get Ctrl C, Ctrl V, Ctrl C, and then type Ctrl V. Uh, we have to close the tab. So, because you cannot, so, so we came back, we will we, we be, and then, and then we, we leave the HTML tag alone, and then you go back for the, before the curly bracket, curly bracket, and then, then same for here before, before the because we cannot we cannot type inline H, inline HTML inside the PHP that's why we have to use we have to surround it by PHP for the curly bracket so and then you save this guy so that should be what 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 is oh yep you change the name to updating stock data and then and then change that one and you to update so so I think oh we change the primary color that one's info right we change to primary that mean we got the blue color so go back to your uh, uh, your backend in a refresh so that's the same that is still the same and then go back to your go get line chart and then when you click on this guy So, so we should be seeing something. So now the button is right. So button is update. And then, and then the, we have to do, we have to just do the, we have to query from database and then we check, we check by action. We check that action and then we, we try to query from database. So that's what we have to do next. So go back to your development page and then that's where we came here. So, so I copy and paste. It's nothing. It's not rocket science. You can see there. So the first thing you have to start is we need. We need global. Database and and we'll be checking. We'll be checking is there empty. So we'll be checking that if empty ID. So what shall we do without empty ID? We'll be doing something else. So if the one is not empty, we do something. And then if the one's empty, we shouldn't be doing yep. We need to add the data to database. So so you go back. So we go back to our backend. So right now we got the ID, right? So so that means we need to query something. We need to query go back to your project in there, and then we need to get so we create a new browser, browser and then db, and then we got we try to this time we try to get 
get a rule or it's not a result, it's a get a rule. And then and then we, we need a query inside. That query should be so we, we need we need to eat in. So you just you knew the you knew SQL query, right? So we're trying to get ID management and see it not. So these these are the guys we are trying to get. And and related to ID. So we got the ID from here. So get ID, so pass from it, get URL. And then and then, and then we try to retrieve the retrieve the data from object make sure you type the same one I think we we'll change that one to small cup Small cup, small cup, small cup. And we change the other one back to small cup in there. Okay, I need to update. Did I update it? Okay, we will use small cup. We change that one too. So if you are not, if you are not here, and then if you are inside the inside the SQL work SQL workbench and then and then you you go inside and then you drop the table here and and, and we create the table here we don't need cutter sorry I think let's see Okay, that's good. We got we got that one and then and then and then that means you have to change the ID in oh, somewhere there. So we'll we'll change it. We'll leave it for now. So just copy and paste. We're trying to get the we're trying to get we're trying to get the data from our uh, object from this this row and then that's what we are doing and 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 so we got that guy got that guy you save it and then go back to your WordPress backend and then refresh make sure you are on here if you are not here click on that guy just select on some of those okay okay you know what to do we have we have to change the go back to go back to USC data because it will be empty go to the line 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 here line 177 around that inside the prepare prepare items and then inside the voice loop so sorry about that mess up so you refresh we should get id back so just click on details So we got we got data from data, database. So that these are the query. What we should be doing is we should be update. So when you when we are here, so we can we can just update or we can do delete. That's what we, what shall we be doing? And then yep. So so you could you. 
look at look up to your project and then go to the editor editor say data page and then you look at that guy you look at that guy so when we submit the form inside the inside the form and then we'll be using post http post method yeah we haven't we haven't set we haven't identified it yet so otherwise the four is i think get so you change that one to post so that means we so we are inside here you go back here you just copy and paste line choo -choo. line 23 to 53 so we just copy and paste we're not typing here it's taking a long time so you already understood about the how to query right so we when we submit the post data and then you go you go to the you'll be checking is that coming from the name post name something so we are checking this one if the one set and then we we need to provide the nouns and then we need to we will be sanitized so make sure we use is not doing any sort of you know breaking or malicious activity in our database this is the sanitization so we remove all the you know all the coding something like that html javascript or something like that we remove everything that's a wordpress building i building one wordpress or and then we update the query so we, we create the query so we try to get id from here make months from here and then we try to get the total and then we try to update so when you when we are updating the the table so so you call wbt db and update that's a function and then you you this is your table name and then this is your query and then and then you create an associated array to the id and name and that's it so when you return it from update here and then you query by you you need to use the javascript function otherwise it's not returning to your main page wp redirect is not working well at why i was writing this plugin so that's why you have to use javascript and and that's it so you go back you go back to your backend just refresh so nothing will change so let's say we change that one to maybe 99 or 99 remember January is 3000 and then we change to 999 okay that's good so so we check the something wrong so the reason we got that error is we didn't check the we didn't create the nouns yet so at the top so we will be checking WP nouns. So we didn't submit that one. That means WP, I mean PHP WordPress assuming that we are doing malicious activity. So it's rejecting our upload or whatever our function is. So you go to line one twenty four and line one twenty five. I'll explain it to you. And then copy that one and then just load the form. And then just paste and here so we created we create the nouns so you look at the nouns and then we create we we try to we try to pass 
the name now plugin now so so we check here so that that's what we are checking and then we verify it and then if the one doesn't match it's not coming from our request and then it's 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 doing malicious by third party or you know some some someone else executing this script so that's good so you learn something you knew something so so you refresh again we are we are in this page see that that's the nouns that we are we are passing on so we try to change to 999 again we try to update okay stay the same so that the second program is this guy so we are passing to action.php so let's see when we click on here so that's where is it coming from so it's a it's a problem of copy and paste sometimes you're busy and you're doing something that your brain's not attention lead to this way so so normally so that means we are so if you remove everything so we are submitting on the same page so i believe that should be that should be come back so just refresh we should stay at 3999 so if you go back to google line chart so we should be seeing that's 999 so 999 the reason it's not any like this because of the comment of this guy so now we should be we should everything should be working as expected so that's how you how you edit the data but we are not done yet we we almost done, we almost done and and if you go back to your your finished project i mean the project and then go to see it data tv and then go line go to column id so that's it that's a finished project i'm i'm referring to so you copy line then we done down so we then we already then edit so we, we need to delete we need delete and we need details and so you copy you copy everything i mean line 92 to 137 almost that guy just copy and i go to your project and then and then open it open it see data look what that guy i think that should be around here prepare column ID is here this guy so the line 87 88 and then just paste everything so we are doing this so you you can you can figure that out by yourself so you already know that so we are doing this we are adding more 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 buttons so you refresh <coughs> now we should be seeing more buttons so that's what that's what happening so if you click edit and then it should go to edit and then so when you click on edit right now it's not going anywhere it's going somewhere yeah because of the form load and then so so go back to your project so when you click edit so we we draw this one by here so i already explained it i'm not i'm not going back so you need to update here so get action edit okay we already got edit this one is going so go back that guy uh scroll down scroll down scroll down scroll down so copy copy line 143 to 163 just copy it go back that guy so we 
Salat 90, 93 to 106 and then delete paste we don't need anything so we'll be deleting so we got details and then go to the top and then and back here get that go to the top please so we already done that we are still missing the link down so just copy this guy 56 to 68 the project because everything is similar so make sure you are outside of this NF so and then and then the only thing we need is sorry not this guy save go back to your project the only thing we need is we are needing what shall we do to add new data so copy line Somebody went to one of them. Juju, come in. So here, by complaint. Okay, we're fine. I mean, why? Yep, you why so so this guy should be here. Okay, clean it up, clean it up. So we clean it up here. So you sorry sorry. Yep, I am missing up. So, see, that's a program of copy and paste. Go back to our project. So, we got the leak stock. Stock, that's good. In here. Sorry about mismatch. So, go to finish project. I'm doing multiple things. So, starting from 71 to 10. 106, I think 104. Because of that, has changed a lot. Mm, let me see. Let's see, I see. Yep. Okay, I forgot about the guy. So make sure you are outside of that guy and then just paste on blue. So so that's same for that guy. So we you check down there. So when you want to add, go back and then and then you try to create a noun, check the nouns and then and then you sanitize and then in here so instead of instead of you are querying so you insert into so table so and then you try to match the columns and then you try to values in here and then in outside you need to assign to that value so that's a string that's it that's it numbers and then and then you execute the query so the rest is the same so the leading is the same so so you try to check and then you try to WP call WP delete and then you try to call the table name and then you try to get the ID and then it will. So that's pretty much everything, I believe. So we we knew that this guy is working. So go back to your Google line chart. Make sure you save. Sometimes I forget to save control S. So make sure you save. And then go to details. So it should be same as the edit. So that's good. So go back to line chart or you can go back. I have a back button on my mouse. 
so we'll try to we'll try to add new one so go to add or edit data we're trying to think across the limit immediately seven six eight nine trying to add new finger cross i think we got that in items that good so go back to here so that's our new data and then go to the page two so that's that's our guy so you we are trying to delete this guy we're trying to delete this guy and then it came in here so make sure you 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 knew how to how to do if a statement so you try to add extra a statement and then and then check change this guy to something else so currently i leave it as it for your challenge and try to delete me so let's see let's see so we got 12 items so that's the December and then if you go to the second page so we all we, we delete our guy and then make sure we check in our database go back to your SQL workbench so we check make sure we didn't have we only have 12 data and then we the first thing is 999 so that's pretty much everything and then next tutorials will be working up so 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 when you install the plugin and when you deactivate the plugin so we need to we need to clean out our mess and we will be taking responsibility so that's what we shall be doing on a next tutorial and then make sure you i hope you learn something make sure you join up for next tutorial that's also important and that's it for now and then thank you for watching